This is Pam Stevens, my lovely mermaid friend. She is five foot eight. She is wearing the olive silk charmeuse opera pants and the silk habitat circle and square long sleeve tunic. This is a gorgeous hand painted silk uh, by Carol Lorraine. It is done in purple, bronze, olive, and black. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's the tabard style and looks beautiful with the olive. This kimono is a soft dyed silk by Deborah Street and it is called Maui Sunset. It's gorgeous with lime sherbet, raspberry, tangerine, lots of beautiful colors. Same, same design, same um, pretty much all these uh, kimonos today that are done in the hand painted and soft dyed silks are in the tabard kimono style which is a 70, well, it's an 84 inch bust and this one is um, 42 inches long. And it looks beautiful with this. It also looks really gorgeous with, with the cognac, which I'll be showing uh, in a little bit. This is a gorgeous silk charmeuse a haiku kimono by Mark Thomas. It's really gorgeous. Looks great with this olive, um, which this is trimmed in vintage kimono fabric. It's vintage, but it's actually new off the bolt, so it's it's really great. It's got the side slits, and again, this was designed. Oh, little tits there. This was designed. Fit any body. This is another uh, salt dyed kimono by Deborah Street, and it is in raspberry, tangerine, mint green. Looks really beautiful with this underwear. And that's a really gorgeous one. And this kimono is called Ancient Tibet. Last kimono that goes with the, um, the olive silk. And this is the Carol Lorraine hand painted silk. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's called Ancient Wisdom. And it's done in, well, I would call this a deep bronze, raspberry, purple. It's, it's really an amazing uh, piece. Very intricate, uh, unbelievable. It's 32 inches long. And it looks great with the olive. This is the same aqua pant, but in the chartreuse. Uh, this color scheme was inspired by one of my clients, Chris, who loves this color. This is the haiku, uh, which Mark Thomas has done. This is in a nice black uh, 30 mummy crepe, and it's trimmed again with the vintage kimono fabric from a bowl, and it's got hand painted um, dots on it. It's very exotic, it's very beautiful, it's very flattering. This is uh, another Mark Thomas haiku. This is done in the uh, matching chartreuse um, charmeuse. Tongue twister, say it three times. Okay. It's absolutely gorgeous with the olive. This is again the uh, chartreuse charmeuse opera pant. This is the circle and square sleeveless tunic. It's in a lightweight black silk habitat. The hips are 90 inches. It's cut with a kind of a rectangular shape at the bottom, uh, which flows beautifully. And this is, uh, will become really part of your basic underwear because a black opera pant in a black silk charmeuse, which we also offer, with this tunic can go with absolutely everything. This is a prototype. Um, this is hand dyed uh, silk velvet chartreuse. This is what I call the swallowtail top, which has a kimono sleeve, which is dropped. It's 72 inches wide. It's um, cropped. Really beautiful, a nice flow, particularly as the right side swoops down into a nice swallowtail. Nice roomy arms, flows nicely, falls against the body. Really beautiful with the, with the chartreuse. And this is a one of a kind, I have only this one. This is the same top uh, that you just saw in the, uh, the velvet. This is the swallowtail top done in black slinky. For you slinky sluts, you've got to have this because we only made one. Uh, hasn't gone into production yet. It's amazing. 72 inch bust. Again, the asymmetrical hem. Incredible black slinky and it looks fabulous over this uh, habitat circle and square. Really beautiful layering piece and then you could even pop a crop kimono over this. It's really beautiful. It looks great on Pam too. Again, this is the kimono that you saw earlier by Carol Lorraine. And I'm just showing it with the, char with the chartreuse pants and the black uh, silk layering. You can change the look pretty dramatically. It's just what you put underneath. This again is the same black uh, silk habitat, circle and square tunic that we've been showing with one of my uh, URU skirts, just one of mine, we'll be selling. And what I'm going to show you now is 
all the kimonos with black as the underwear, which is pretty much how I dress every day. But a lot of you who like color, you know, you'll, you'll be more experimental than I am. This is the Carola Rain hand painted silk in a silk charmeuse. This one she calls a sea jewel. This is the short version. We have kind of a 32 inch one and then a 42 inch one. This one is uh, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's in purple and blue, turquoise. Really gorgeous with the black crepe trim. This is definitely something that you can wear with all black for a very sleek formal look. And then you can also show it, uh, you can wear it with jeans and it looks great. This is the same kimono but in the longer duster version. It's 42 inches. This is again um, the sea jewel done in ocean colors of purple, turquoise, um, blues. Again, trimmed to the black crepe. You can see with the black underwear how dramatic it is. This is another Carol Lorraine. This is an absolutely gorgeous piece called Emerald Isle, done in jays and turquoise with uh, some black uh, strokes in it. Gorgeous with the black crepe and with turquoise jewelry, it really pops out. This is an absolutely gorgeous uh, salt dyed silk by Deborah Street, done in a, a red, which almost has a fuchsia tone with black. It's got some gray tones. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is the Maui Sunset again. I'm showing it uh, again with the underpinning of all black. Uh, it, it takes on a totally different hue when you put uh, these beautiful sunset hues over black as opposed to when it was over the olive, which gave it a much richer look. This is a very elegant look, uh, very dramatic, and the jewelry, of course, will really just take it you know, into whatever zone you want it to. This is the box top, which uh, Mark Thomas has been making for us in this uh, wonderful fabric, which is a black uh, silk crepe uh, georgette. And the sleeves are wonderful. It's a, I think, five or six percent uh, lycra. It's a textured silk, though, so you can push it up for a different look. And this has got a parachute tie in it to give it a really nice asymmetrical look. And putting these three black pieces together, uh, really dramatic. And then you can put absolutely any of these kimonos over it that. Um, that you've seen today, and it's just amazing, or a Ruana or a shawl. But this is an amazing piece, really flattering and really flows. This is a really beautiful Deborah Street. This is a salt dyed silk. It's called Sacred Feather. It's done in a beautiful cognac in gray uh, with black strokes. I see the feather design on the back. It's absolutely beautiful. Trimmed in the black crepe. And again, showing it with the all black, it's just really beautiful. It also looks great uh, with the cognac slinky, which we'll show in a little bit. This is a prototype that we are not going into production with. This was sort of the first generation of the circle and square. And the only reason we're not going into production with it is because it is just too time intensive, uh, too expensive. But this one uh, is done in a black silk georgette. And it has you know, an empire waist, very flattering, very beautiful. And we're going to use uh, this one to showcase the next couple of kimonos that we have left. This is another Deborah Street salt dyed uh, silk done in um, a beautiful aquamarine periwinkle turquoise and green. Absolutely gorgeous trimmed in the black silk crepe. This is another prototype. It's a one of a kind. It is a piece of hand dyed silk georgette um, in a periwinkle and it is the swallowtail top minus the swallowtail. And it's got a 72 inch bust. It's 32 inches long and it looks really beautiful. Again, um, a nice underpiece. Okay, this is another prototype, one of a kind. It's a hand dyed um, by Mark Thomas Silk Georgette. Uh, it's a circle and square tunic. It's absolutely gorgeous and I have only one in this fabric. And as you can see, it flows beautifully. This is a Deborah Street. Um, we just showed this actually. I'm showing it with, with the purple and it looks really great. This is again the uh, the short version of the Carol Lorraine hand painted uh, silk, which is called a uh, Sea Jewel. And this looks great with this uh, hand dyed purple. In fact, it's wonderful. Especially look at how the lines flow together with the tunic and the top. These two lengths work really beautifully together. These are the uh, opera pants done in Slinky. This is again a prototype, only pair that I have. It's done in the Cognac Slinky, so if you love the Cognac, you'll love this. This is the matching Cognac uh, Slinky kimono. Again, it's called the Jackie Kimono, and it's the last one that I have in this color. I also have it in mocha brown. This is the Maui uh, Sunset Kimono Salt Dye by Deborah Street, which I showed you earlier. I think it goes great with the cognac. It probably goes with everything because it has every color. 
and this is the end of the fashion show. Thank you.